In my last video about this 30mm macro, I said I was going to try it with a teleconverter, and well, here it is. I thought I have discovered a life hack to make this lens way more versatile, but it's more or less. It works, but I have to explain what I like and what I dislike about this combination. Uh, the 30mm macro doesn't officially support a, a teleconverter, that's for the Olympus Pro lenses. So you are also gonna have to be using an extension tube to fit the teleconverter. I was checking very carefully the first time I tried to fit it to make sure the teleconverter wasn't hitting the back of the lens and that I wasn't scratching anything. Uh, you have to remember that different brands of extension tubes might have different clearance size inside. In my case, the 20mm extension tube doesn't even fit. I'm not sure if it's actually larger inside to make it stronger or if it's a quality control problem. Uh, you can see it has some plastic molding issues inside here. So if you try to fit it the first time, pay attention if you aren't scratching anything and that it does really fit. Uh, just be really careful the first time. Here you can see the difference it makes. So the maximum magnification. And here where I think it's the most comfortable spot to use it. And here is compared to the bare lens without the teleconverter. So you see you get about 40% more magnification at the same distance. It's almost two times magnification at the minimum distance, but it's not very usable that close, so you don't put much emphasis on that, just to making it much easier to use at one to one magnification. Now, before I talk about the image quality, did you notice anything wrong with the shots I've been showing? Anything weird with them? The sharpness doesn't suffer at all, but it does affect the image quality very strongly. Uh, it's hard to notice in these shots because in macro you're, we are hardly shooting flat subjects anyway, but it's adding a great deal of distortion on the edges. And by a great deal I mean that it's more than the distortion you get from um, a good close-up filter for instance. It gets really stretched sometimes, and the further you focus, the more stretched it is, uh, the lesser magnification, the more distortion you are going to see. The moment you get someone in awe with the details on the face of some weird insect, that person won't be looking at how good the quality on the corners of that picture is. It's the kind of thing that only the photographers will notice, but nevertheless it's important to know it is there. In theory, this was going to be a great option still a nice perspective, you can see how much of the background still shows in there. That's more than the Olympus 60. I think it makes this lens closer to a Porzman Panasonic 45. It gives almost the exact focal lens, but yeah, there's that distortion on the edges. The total price of this setup for me was about $300. Getting the teleconverter second hand and a really good deal on the 30mm. Uh, this is way cheaper than the Panasonic 45. 
I think it's an okay combination for someone that already owns the teleconverter and lens and wants more magnification. But if you're thinking in getting the teleconverter specifically for this, I don't think it's worth the price. If you're looking for two times magnification with aperture coupling, uh, Lowa just released their 50mm macro last month, which I think is a better option if your focus is on small subjects. Uh, it's what I'm going to reveal next, by the way. I hope this clears things up for people having the same idea to try this. Thanks for watching. If you have any more doubts about this combination, feel free to ask below and I'll try to answer them.